Um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to put into a bite-sized sentence, but it meant, it meant a lot. I mean, a legend in this game, um, obviously a close personal friend to me and teammate, and um, someone I've looked up to for a long time. And, um, Knowing that this was from the beginning, potentially his, his last season, was uh, a chance for us all, I think, to, to not take for granted all the little things that uh, we've taken from him and um, on and off the court. So, um, talking to, to Big Al about it, just luckily we had the foresight to be conscious of the fact that he wasn't going to be around forever. So, we cherished every moment we had with him and tried to pick up as, mu as much as we could over the year. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be tough to see him see him finally hang it up, but he'll be around, I'm sure, and he's still going to be a huge part of this community, but um, from the basketball side, as a teammate, it's going to be it's going to be weird not having him there. One of his trademarks has been how he treats people from the first man to the 15th man on the roster. You came in as one of those guys that were down the roster, and now you're up. How have you seen him treat you, you're treating you throughout that whole process? Yeah, from day one, um, as a rookie, getting traded here, and not really knowing what my future was going to hold. He treated me the same way he treated everyone else and invited me to work out with him and um, talked to me about things uh, to work on my game even when I wasn't playing at all. And, uh, he took me under his wing in a lot of ways and, and showed me the ropes. So um, that relationship has only grown since then and um, getting to know him more and more, especially off the court and learning about how to be a pro from him, I think was the biggest thing that he shared with me. And, um, just the more time spending with him. He, he's not necessarily the kind of guy that's going to just drop knowledge on you and, and preach and um, kind of overwhelm you. He, he leads by example. So the more time you spend with him, the more you pick up. And um, I was fortunate to have five great years with him. Tell us a little bit about KP and what can we expect from him next season. Um, I'm excited. Um, I know his, his rehab has been going really well. And um, physically, he's going to, I think he's going to be ready to go. Um, and we're definitely excited about that. But. Uh, from a skill set standpoint, he brings amazing length, uh, offensively and defensively. He affects the game in a lot of ways, just just with that alone. And uh, he can obviously put the ball in the hole. He can score. He can he can shoot. He has back to basket game. And he knows how to play the right way. So um, it's definitely gonna be exciting to, to have him and Luca both out there and see what, what we can all do together as a group. Talk about well, it how sounds you like you've, you've decided to exercise your option. To come back. It sounds as if I'm reading between the lines here. But you've decided to exercise your option to come back. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to be here. Okay. Um, I've, the opportunities that have been afforded to me by being here with with Mark and the coach, and um, I mean, I'll, I'm always grateful, obviously grateful for that, and um, it's given me a chance to be in this league. So um, I love the city of Dallas. So do you, you expect to pick up your option and stay here? Yeah, def I want to stay here. That's gotcha. that's really the one, one way or another, whether it's. Dirk said he wants an important part of his lasting legacy to be never stop improving. How have you kind of seen him embody that and maybe wanted to embrace the kind of that for yourself? Yeah, I mean, coming into this league, it's from the time I really started playing this game, one of the things, luckily for me, that was instilled in me was hard work and was um, showing up every day and, and doing whatever it is you can to improve. And when I got here to Dallas, he showed me that, like, that's cool. Like he showed me that that's, that's not something to be ashamed of or to hide or, um, or anything to, to kind of do in the shadows. It's something that you can be proud of. And he, he embodies the definition of a hardworking, true professional every single day. And um, reminiscing now over the course of this year, especially the last few weeks, on some of the early points in his career when he wasn't the greatest of all time. He wasn't um, this kind of international icon. And to see where he's, where he's at now and, and the way he left his legacy, is a testament to how much time he spent and how much focus effort he put into this game and, and how much he sacrificed in the offseason <clears throat> and some of the little things that some other guys may, may enjoy doing he he pushed aside and I waited till now I guess to kind of enjoy so he um, he dedicated everything to this game and, and to improvement so um, that legacy will live on um, hopefully in this franchise for the rest of its existence. You really embrace the community here in Dallas. Tell me about the community work that you're doing and why it's so important for your career. Um, it's extremely important. Um, we couldn't do the things that we do. We couldn't play the game that we love. We couldn't enjoy it on this stage if it wasn't for the community that supports us. Um, and that's in Dallas. That's in every NBA city. And that's 
in the U.S. and that's globally now because of <clears throat> the way we can get media out. But um, especially here in Dallas, the the way that they've embraced us all in, in the good and the, and the bad times, um, it's extremely important to understand that uh, we wouldn't be here without them. And for the most part, people that didn't grow up in this city, the way that they embrace us is, is phenomenal. So uh, there are areas where we can help and it's our responsibility with the platform we have and the opportunities that we've been afforded to, to make sure that we do everything we can to improve the city in, in some way. What surprised you the most about Lucas' ability to walk on this big stage and play like he's been here eight, nine, ten years? What surprised me the most? I mean, to be honest, we all had pretty high expectations and high hopes. Uh, I, maybe the biggest surprise was how quickly he stepped into it, but um, we saw on film the things he could do and the accolades he came in with were phenomenal and um, he hit the ground running. So uh, the biggest thing for him is to continue to continue to develop and continue to work, which I know he will. So I'm extremely excited uh, for the years to come for him. Well, Talk you about bring so much energy uh, on the court when you are on the court. Is that is that something that you work on or practice, or is that just you? You don't have another gear, but going through. Um, no, it's definitely something I had to I had to work on. Um, luckily, like I said earlier, it's that was one of the things that was instilled in me at a very early age. It was hard work and effort, and um, kind of every game you play, you sign your name on the end of it. So. You want to step out there and, and give everything you have, every possession, because unfortunately you never know when, when this game is going to be taken away from you. You won't have any regrets. So um, I definitely try to play as hard as I can for, for the man beside me and for the guys on the bench and for, for our city every time I'm out there. What makes this, a good, what makes this organization a good fit for you? Good I, I think I know. I a <clears throat> good fit for me? Oh, I don't even know where to start with that one. That's, I mean, from top to bottom, this organization is, is truly first class. Um, they take care of us in, in every way, on and off the court. Um, I mean, Mark's done a great job of, of building a culture for us where we can improve and where we can be successful. And the coach has a system where um, he can teach us how to, how to be successful and, and put us in roles where we can play to our strengths and, and continue to improve. And um, yeah, I mean, there's a Massive list of the reasons why would, I'm proud would, of you. Would the fact that you're an athletic big man who can run, who can step outside the shoe as well as he can on the post, is that a factor too? I mean, it seems like your game is a good fit here. I don't want to put much on but is that accurate? Or yeah, I like being here and I like okay. playing here. I have fun. I have fun in our system, and um, <clears throat> unfortunately, obviously, this season didn't go exactly how I expected on a on a wins-loss record basis, but I think we had some great moments, and in those moments, I think we showed that um, we have a lot of great pieces, and, and we, can, we can fill in some of those gaps with improvements over the summer and, and have a much better year next year. You and Jalen Brunson have had a lot of shooting competitions uh, over the season of practice. What, what does that kind of competition between two teams kind of fueling each other to get better? What does that kind of do to improve the game? And also for uh, there's a lot. I think. I think that competition specifically is is a lot about camaraderie. Um, I mean, that's just fun. It's it's good. It's, as soon as you practice, at the end of the day, you're kind of tired. And um, we, Jalen and I both, we get in our, our work before practice as far as skill development. Um, so after practice, when we're working on just trying to make perfect shots, um, it's good to mix it in with a little a little lighter atmosphere. So it's good. And, as a young guy, I want to spend as much time with him, especially since he's a point guard, um, and make sure we have a good feel for each other's game and um, try to develop that, that uh, camaraderie as well as um, awareness of what we are thinking.